kidney had beehives in it and from my mid thigh up to and including my fourth lumbar vertebra that's where force got shot that fourth lumbar vertebra was broken my ribs were crushed on the right side the cannon when i fired it because the recoil mechanism was totally blown off of it when i fired it of course i put the maximum charge in the cannon because i wanted to do the job and it flat rolled over me and broke my back crushed my ribs on the right side that's when I looked across the river and I seen Wendell Holloway, one of my brothers, waving his boonie hat at me and I knew I had to go get him. But there was only one man. Wendell was the only one that I seen, but when I got to the foxhole there were three men. Well I knew with what was happening and the shape of my body I could not make three trips. So I asked the one above to give me the strength to carry all three of my brothers at one time and I did. And my guys uh, put me in for the Medal of Honor receiving the Medal of Honor, that's my actual film footage, they just put Tom's face. Well, I couldn't really think clear, and that sounds stupid when you're a 20-year-old kid in the middle of the jungle, so well, that explosion made me not think clear, but now I understand. Back then, to my knowledge, they didn't know treatment. They just, well, yeah, you gotta take this drug, and this drug, and this drug, and this drug, and for years, I would sit and drool, you know, that's, but it didn't hurt quite so bad. And we had gone to our neurologist, and I thought, <clears throat> excuse me, Sam had been forgetting things. And I thought, well, he's either just old, sorry, honey, okay. um, but, or something else is going on. So they did an MRI, they gave these little tests that you take, did an MRI, and said, well, we think that it, it's probably the start of dementia or Alzheimer's. And boy, that's not something you ever want to hear. And she said, at this Rachel. point, it's very, we just call it mild cognitive impairment because it was mild. But she said, there really isn't anything we can do about this. She said, I'm going to give you a medication that kind of thins your blood so it flows through your brain easier. And that's just a devastating diagnosis pain I have taken less pain medicine than I ever thought was possible today oh. I, in a month I may take the pain medicine that I used to take daily in other words I only take one or two a month maybe because when I get hurt real bad I still take one but it's reduced the pain unbelievable I mean so we noticed right off the bat it takes yes. inflammation out of your body and you yes. said he used to be able to do his fingers like this and after a couple times he goes look I could touch him you know he look, pushes him right I can and yeah. that's people that don't that can't do it think well what's new about that but hey I, if I did it like this that was for years I was mm -hmm. doing good I, I believe I see better uh, I, I think clear my skin has improved the things that I'm really pleased with is now I still have nightmares. But for an unbelievable amount of years, I couldn't get out of the nightmare. If I would get up, walk around the house, check to make sure everything was okay, and I'd go lay back down, and I'd go right back into that same nightmare again, and I couldn't get out of it. Well, now I, I still have nightmares. But now when I get back, I can. I can go to place. I can go to other places. I can think about, and that's good. I didn't have a lot of health problems, but for me, the first thing I notice is that you sleep really, really great. I asked when we had our yearly checkup. I said to the doctor because they always check all that because I think they said it was like a stage three out of four, which they said no, that's don't worry, that's not so bad. And I think well, yeah, kind of is, but anyway, I said. And for both Sam and I, because of him being diabetic, kidneys are always bad for diabetic. And I said, would you check our results and compare them to last year? I want to see if things got better. And the doctor goes, well, but really, kidneys don't really get better. You might get to a point where they will stabilize, but they really don't start getting better. And he's talking away and he goes, oh, wait. Here, both of our kidney functions improved. Great. And so that was amazing to me. Sam also, the tests that we had done before we went in, he had, um, the liver was not working. <clears throat> HBOT is a miracle, 
but you have to be willing to do some things for yourself. You can't expect that to be the only thing that changes. You need to change if you're smoking or drinking. It's really not the best thing for you. So we go in and the people doing the trials said, well, first of all, we're gonna give you a mental test. And if you, they say pass that, what they mean is if you fail that, then we're gonna do a blood test because now the tau, T-A-U, proteins are what is uh, causes the Alzheimer's and dementia. In the brain. And they can do it in a blood test now, some kind of specialized testing. Well, they came, brought it back in the room. She said, well, he only made the trial by one point. And I knew it was before they even say, you have to count backwards by sevens. He couldn't do it when he was 10, and he still can't do it. No offense. <laughs> but... Um, she said, but we'll go ahead and do the blood test today. We got this phone call just about 10 days ago. And the lady, she said, well, I've got bad news and I've got good news for you. She said, the bad news is we can't let you in the trial. And she said, and the reason is because there are no tau proteins. So I said, hey, we came out on the upper end of that deal. And so we really think that that's from the hyperbaric. Definitely. The and hyperbaric life. chamber has improved my mind, my body. I mean, it's just, wow, it, it's amazing to think that just laying in this chamber where you breathe pure oxygen under pressure and it can make your whole body repair itself. It's phenomenal. And that's, I would like to have, at the very least, every veteran be able to do this. What it does for your mind and for your body is phenomenal. And to the doctors or to Congress, go try it. They look at how much it costs them to treat a veteran for his entire life, mainly with drugs or with sessions, you know, the uh, communication, all the things they are recommending. If they would put these veterans through the uh, 40 treatments as an average, put them through the hyperbaric, it will save millions of dollars. I'm amazed at what it has done for me because that, that 55 years old, I thought, well, I'm done. I'm ready to go, you know, because nothing worked right. I was starting to, and now I'm 74 years old. And I'm thinking, wow. I you feel like a 55-year-old. <laughs> Only better. You know what? You do feel younger. It's amazing.